Elemental Heavens by Impetus. Hey there, one, the SoCal playing the LDCX. Yeah, we're at 17th place, and this place looks amazing! This is the realm of the spirits. The living are forbidden. Well, that's foreboding. No moons, though, so it's all go. Wow, yeah, we're just, we're just in the clouds. Cloud country, here we go. Well, immediately, this place looks amazing. Okay, step on that, and then things might happen. Got it. I don't know if that's a reset. Well, let's check it out real quick. No, this is a completely different realm. Is that water? No. Kind of looks like it a little bit, but no. No, yeah, there's something really neat about this. Ugh. Something real dangerous about this. I know, there's a lot to take in. Uh, it's one of those kind of experiences. Okay, so yellow specifically might trigger that kind of reaction. So what up with that extra room? Like, is it just an extra room? Is it... Ah, ah. Video games are hard. Eh. Like, I'm curious, like, is this for Dagadon? Like, the return coin trail there suggests to me that this might be a Dagadon path, but, like... Why is it so dangerous? Yeah, that's just for a Dagadon. Never mind. Uh, not worth it. Reminder that a dragon coin is worth one-fifth of a life if you get them all. If you don't get them all, they're worth nothing. And yet, sometimes they're five times harder than just making it through the level. Oh, there's my bread. What a weird area. Am I supposed to, like, do a leap of faith towards that instead? Or is it on a cycle that is permissible by human beings? I have no idea. I'm just sitting on this cliffside and the skeleton demonstrated what might happen. Yeah, I took damage because I don't know if I'll ever have a chance to jump back on this thing. Yeah, there's another, like, pretty hard Dagadon to get there, too. And the sun represents the element of the sun. Fire. So I could be too Dagadon in. Okay, so dodge the yellow dot. There you go. You don't have nothing to do here. Uh... Okay. I mean, if I do activate them, they'll fall on the line, and yeah, nothing else happens. Like... Oh, but this guy falls! Okay, this is solid. Wow! Alright. I mean, there are some cool stuff going on here. But I also feel very... Really? I feel very whelmed. Like... <laughs> there are different whelms. Dude, how did that not land on the fire? The rope conveyor probably fooled me. There we go. Now that I knew that was there, I knew to jump early to land on it. Um... <laughs> Something you won't know the first time you encounter this setup. Unless you just randomly jump at gorges, which, I mean, good for you. I just don't think that's really healthy, but I mean, look, if you can make it work, I guess. That's a really scrunched up area that I feel assumes the player lost a hit at some point. Third Dagadon, strictly speaking. Well, unless I missed some, and there I just kind of hung out close to the edge. It's great, midpoint. There's a yellow thing you can step on somewhere. Maybe up there? Like, I think it has to be on screen though, right? For the work? Well, there used to be a platform there, possibly. It will never come- oh. So we can do that, okay. I mean, will the platform ever return though? No, the platform despawned. There's just too many things. Well... Welcome to luxury. Oh, hey! At some point I did whatever I need- Oh, I bobbed the thing! I bobbed the block! Got it. That's the puzzle. Once again, it seems to be for Dagadon. Um, so you gotta find, like, the block you can bot. In this, like, crazy maze that's like, okay. Maybe down there, you gotta raise the statue before it falls on it. Alright, I figured out the intent of the puzzle. I'm good. I'm gonna hit this thing and miss my ride, possibly. Yeah, this is a- oh, uh, what? Uh, well, I'm dead now. Maybe? Possibly? Who knows? I can go on here. Got it. But now it's too late, though. So I'm just dead forever? Sweet. Okay, no, okay, platform is back. Got it. Okay. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, so, 
I'm, I'm repeating myself here, but like that's just the strong impression that this level gives me. It, it's cool what's happening, but it's very hard to follow. There is a lot of things all over the place that fight for your visual attention. And it's very overwhelming, very quickly. Like, the background is really colorful, like, it's really nice looking, and, like, considering the vanilla limitation, it's downright, like, magnificent, but... I mean, normally likes very clearly indicated limits but luxuries in terms of, like, being giving hits or anything. Alright, here I should be good, though. Why didn't it not... Did I not step on this? It didn't count? Sweet. Great. Okay, this time it worked. Maybe because I scrolled it into existence? I can't tell what's land or not here. Like, you use lines for- to indicate- Tava, Mac. Alright, so yeah, here you get- like, this is- very confused. Alright, so I want to get here, but I don't want to get bopped. Now I'm trying to jump, and here we are. Alright, okay, I don't think it's that confused. Did I despawn my bread? Did I go too fast? No, it's just very slow. Very slow bread for sale. Well, that's solid. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is... Yeah. I... I constantly feel like I don't have time to process. No, why did you not... Is my bread still there, or did I despawn it? Sweet, I despawned the bread. That's something you can do pretty easily. Yeah! That's just all sorts of trash. I, I don't... Like, I need- <laughs> They're always plays the same way, like, I need to immediately, like, get here, but, like, what do I- Okay, then I can get here, get here, bop up here, fire, eventually, possibly, okay. Okay, uh, wait, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, you just go through. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just very hard to read what's going on. Like, what I had to do there was very simple. It was not hard. But I could never tell what was going on, so I couldn't just, like, get a grasp of the motion I want to do. Yeah, to repeat myself, you put a lot of work into this. I can see the effort, but I did not have a lot of fun with the end results, unfortunately. I'm sure other people would have a blast with it, though. Like, my tastes are just my taste, right? But still, yeah. New Funk City by Mega Mario Man 9. Uh, I don't know what to expect. Well, Funk and new, and there's a moon. Yeah, look at that. He does the, 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 the I feel like deeper we go. <laughs> That's kind of neat. The, the further we go, the more like individual work there is, and like the little like like tertiary nonsense thing. So yeah, we're look at that moon. That moon is vanilla somehow. Uh, can I tell how it was made? Yeah, I can recognize individual pieces. Okay, it's really well constructed. It's smartly constructed. Here we go, cityscape. We got double layers of parallax with a cloud and a moon being separate. That's how you make sure that you don't get moons on repeat. Check it out. Plants in the city. Then you hit a wall and you're like, well, all right. And then you slide into Ninji, but you miss. Because he's smart. Can you go in a door? No, you can't. They're just decorative. Mario doesn't go into buildings unannounced. Yo! Wow, music is jamming it up. I do not recognize it. Alright, there you go. I solved a puzzle. I found, I found a thing. Oh, thanks for the indication there, turtle. That's smart. That is real smart. It's like, yeah, I can see that some bricks are painted white. I don't know that means anything. But I can see a familiar enemy do a familiar motion. It's like, oh, everything makes sense now. Look at that guy. They're doing the whole round of the building. That's kind of neat. You can't spin jump. 
No, yeah, pressing spin jump does nothing. You can in Smith X, I haven't played that in... It feels like years. Alright, well there you go, that's how you do that. Oh, hey, midpoint, and a superhero. I'm gonna pursue for exactly one second. See here, the different colors of the blocks don't mean anything. That's fine though, it's decorative, you know? When you're building a city, you want people to go like, Hey, do we want to go to New Funk City? Well, what city is that? It's a city where you can jump up and get hurt by a plant. No, it's a city where the walls are colored different colors. It's wacky. You can punch a guy through a wall, too. There we go. Yeah, I know what that means. You go on around a circle and forget your tag. So you're stuck with all your breads in your hand. You don't have a bag and you don't have a snack. Look out, it's the turtle, man. I would have felt more comfortable bopping on the turtle himself there. But, uh, there you go, I'm gonna punch him through the wall. I don't know why that amuses me so much, other than just the sheer ridiculousness of it. Mario's gone real strong through time and space. Bricks don't mean no no- Well, no, he's always been bopping bricks with, like, his fist, not his head. He's been making a oh casino! I want a star. Yeah, I won that that roulette. I don't need to keep going. <laughs> Check it out, guys! I'm invincible and I have a cloth on myself. I can do an earthquake if I want, and I can also win the level. Touch the goal too early, and then go on a parade. Then the clouds disappear, and there's no moon, and everyone says, "Hooray!" Well, okay, the moon's back, but the clouds are still gone. I'm gonna remove the cloud. Weather Master Mario on the Star House.